Hi! In a vast ocean of online content, content moderation serves as a lighthouse guiding user to the tumultuous waves of information and how can they interact with it with their rights and their freedom of speech in the platform as a community. However, just as ships rely on clear signals from the lighthouse to navigate safely, users depend on transparent and communicative content moderation practices to guide their on online experiences. There are rules set in the terms and conditions of using a website or a social media network in which the user gives their right of usage or they can use the website but they need to follow certain rules or they shouldn't offend certain people and create unnecessary hate or misinformation on the website. In an era where digital platforms are under increasing scrutiny for their moderation practices, as most of them have different and subjective moderation practices when it comes to curating online content and user-generated content like posts, videos, among such things, as, as a mistake could cause a public bar and jeopardize their standing and revenue. Managing user expectations through transparency and communication has become paramount or more important than ever. So, content moderation, the process of monitoring and regulating user-generated content, plays a pivotal or an important role in shaping a digital landscape, whether social media platforms, news websites, forums, or e-commerce websites. Moderation efforts aim to maintain a safe, inclusive, and productive environment for users. Yet, the effectiveness of moderation hinges not only on the rules and algorithms, but also how well platforms communicate these measures to their users. Most of the time, they don't inform their users beforehand if they have changes in the policy or in certain fair rights claims, depending on the country, which alienates most of the users because they're somewhere or they're somehow seeing their content banned with no apparent reason as con or social media website and news and other platforms rather would not give in or give the specific details on why they got banned on the platform because it would jeopardize people gaming the website's new rules and policies. So they wouldn't think of anything else to game or to make adjustments to their posting methods in order to game the system and full moderators and the AI algorithm. So there are two pillars of effective content moderation. The first one is transparency. It's the cornerstone of effective or one of the cornerstones of effective moderation. Users want to understand the rules of engagement or what can they do in the platform, what content is allowed, what isn't, and the logic behind these decisions if they ever get a warning or a ban. By providing clear guidelines and openly communicating moderation policies, platforms empower users to navigate their online interactions confidently. Transparency breeds trust, fostering a sense of accountability and fairness within online communities does as well with the platforms that they're using. First and foremost, a user would gladly interact or share their opinions and generate content if they know that the platform wouldn't ban their social media website forever, like their YouTube channels, if they would like to react on an anime video or a show that they've watched, if they know that it encompasses fair use policies in which some companies like video platforms do not have specific ruling off because it differs from country to country. Especially if they get banned, they would stop posting or using the website altogether in fear that their next interaction would not be as positive anymore. So what I've said about earlier just doesn't encompass the rulings or flagging of contents. It also talks about the entire content moderation process. If it was used by an AI or if an AI flagged and reviewed the post or the user-generated content, or if it was done by a human. 
bo- do both AI and human moderators have different takes or both of them have different takes on various topics depending on their understanding or the current level of understanding on the post or the user generated content it should also be spoken directly to the users if whoever moderated this account and what's the reasoning behind it it should be clear and concise and not just simply posting policies like chapter 1a we do not use hate speech but the content of the post is not really for hate speech or the word was not really for hate speech like the f word could mean different things like a bottle of cigarettes and the slur so an ai or a human moderator may have lapses in that we should know that content moderation is not a hundred percent accurate as it's often prone to the biases and to the takes or opinions of the one seeing the content and moderating it depending on their analysis the the post could be could cause a ban and could cause loss of users or public fire or pr fire when related or when a mistake is made so it must be communicated directly so that people would know what to do and they would know how to react if ever they get a ban a false ban or a false positive they would know how to react to renege or to regain their account status back and to remove the the violation now we go on to the second or to the second pillar of effective content moderation which is dedicated communication process because transparency alone is not enough platforms or must establish channels in which users can voice concerns concerns seek clarification and provide feedback on moderation process this is why an effective chat support system would also be applicable in content moderation as they can inform the users what happened to their account exactly robust communication channels such as dedicated support teams community forums and clear reporting mechanisms should empower users to engage moderators constructively on what cost a ban not just uh unpaid moderators just banning people for what even if they know don't know what transpired or which person really started the debate or it got heated and the other person called him or slurred him or cursed cost him names the person who escalated it should be banned though there there are times that they both get out of hand and both of them deserve a down a ta- a down time before banning them they, it should be explained to them so that they don't repeat the rules just as what some platforms are doing they issue a ban or a warning at first and if the user escalates the scenario or his report then the site would have no problem disabling their accounts it also serves as a bridge as a moderate between moderators and users to foster collaborative approaches to their content ma- to the content management instead just viewing them as the third party authorities and just an authoritarian method on what to do and what not to do they should strive to engage users healthily like analyzing the parent thread of what happened before taking action to the user and just simply telling the user to stop if ever they escalate or they become offended with something and they start using curses slurs or they start disobeying the policies made by the site this during this discussion soliciting import or input from the community consulting with their stakeholders and advertisers and involving users in policy discussions just as what happened when there were um revolts in France with regards to their feminist movement posting breastfeeding videos on the website somewhat a uh, platform decided to ban this because it was against by the rules at first though they should have tried to see breastfeeding as an act of feminism or empowering women and not just doing it 
for the sake of nudity and sexualizing them. So, not only does it enhance transparency, but it cultivates a sense of ownership and a shared responsibility between the users or the utilizers of the website in which they gain money from through advertisers and advertisers giving them money by being more friendly to the communities that subscribe to their products and the website being effective in establishing rapport and communication between different groups of people and companies and corporations. So, in the quest for effective content moderation, platforms may strike or must strike a balance between enforcing their standards and respecting users' autonomy. Like, if the content or what the post wasn't really reported, they should not create a strike, especially if the user understands or the other person understands that it wasn't meant to harm and they should take the entirety of the conversation before moderating a content. While lax moderation, like in a 140-character website, it leads, if it's lax, it can lead to a lot of spammers, bots, and toxicity and harm that may cause users to lose their account due to toxicity con or phishing attempts or spam attempts. They might also lead or favor users that buy their verification account in order to be more heard and it may cause harm to the users because if what if the voice that is telling the other people is really just creating dissent and he's verified by the platform and the platform won't really do action because he's one of their traffic generators so it just causes harm and dissent transparent communication also serves as a, the compass guiding platforms through this balancing act. So, they should communicate with the users if they want to see this content and with the advertisers if it's advertiser-friendly or, or in the different non-government organizations and government organizations if data is secured or not. Ensuring that moderation efforts align with user expectations while upholding fundamental principles of safety and civility. So people don't get on Wild West or they don't get shooting each other or doing stupid stuff in social media. They should still remain civil like discussing in the real world. Moreover, it's not just ethical imperatives. Like It's not just supposed to stop the Wild West and to promote corporations to sell more of their products. But it's a good business practice to keep the website or the platform alive. In an increasingly competitive landscape, platforms that can gain user trust and loyalty as well as engagement through posts, clicks, reactions, comments, and likes and follows stand to gain a competitive edge because most users would use them just, not just to communicate, but to interact with other people because they're safe. By fostering transparent and open dialogues with users, platforms can differentiate themselves as a trustworthy stewards or guider, guides of online communities, attracting both and retaining users in the environment characterized by accountability and still gives people the respect they deserve. So artificial intelligence can play an increasingly significant role in content moderation, especially in transparency and accuracy of user data, as well as communicating the data sets effectively on which the cases of banning users or creating a massive ban for both accounts. Because it can analyze vast amount of user-generated content as soon as it is posted on the platform at a large scale flagging potential violations of community guidelines and also interacting with those manual or human moderators for added cultural nuance. This frees up human moderators to focus on complex cases as the AI will get the generic or the generic use of the words or the semiotics and create action 
while the human moderators check the more complex requiring of nuance in understanding and judgment as I've said earlier. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that there are very or there are a lot of limitations and potential biases of AI in content moderation as some AI bots can also can only generate up to the year they were last updated like OpenAI and Gemini if it's updated or if it has access to the large pool of the database being they're being trained on. They're, the database can also reflect biases present in the real world. For example, an AI would be more biased on the use of a certain language. For example, the N-word has different connotation from Chinese and American, but when the AI moderates it, it might just interpret it as English universal, which may cause a lot of Chinese bans using the language. So, here are some ways to mitigate this bias. There should be a, a huge training data or they should be trained in a wider range of demographics, languages, and cultural context to help reduce bias of the robot AI. And there should be a human in the loop or the human should double check AI flags, especially if the user um, tries to revoke the violation or files a uh, countersuit of the violation. And there should be a regular auditing AI that augments trend, trends or current trends that appear on the website to make or to remove emerging biases. So what can I say about the future? I believe that the future of content moderation lies in harnessing the power of AI responsibly while acknowledging its limitations compared to a human. Here are some potential advancement that I can see. When more or content are being curated in different languages, especially in the early ages or in the middle ages of the content moderation industry, they would develop an AI would a deeper understanding of context, semiotics, semantics, sarcasm, and cultural nuances that can lead to more accurate and fair content moderation. Also, the users would be more involved, unlike during the beginning stages of content moderation, where users would have more control over their content moderation within their communities, like what Reddit and Fortune does, and like what Facebook does, where it focuses on rehabilitation instead of just simply banning the user, which it removes the harmful content, but it also educates the user why these things are viewed harmful and encouraging positive interactions the next time they use the website so it can for foster a healthier online environment. By embracing transparency, communication, and responsible AI integration, platforms can create a future where content moderation empowers users and fosters a safe and thriving online landscape where everybody profits or gains knowledge and understanding with the discussions. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to this video. If you found the content engaging, I encourage you to check out this channel for more discussions like this one. We delve deep into topics related to content moderation, providing insights or the pol policy making and insight making, best practices and real world examples. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of knowledge that can help you navigate the complex landscape of online content. Whether you're a content creator, a moderator, a policy specialist, or, or an insight specialist, or you're just simply interested in understanding how online platforms maintain simply and or safety and quality, our channel has got something for you. So do me a favor and give a like share and subscribe to the channel to this channel your support keeps us going and we're excited to have you join us thanks again for watching and see you in the next video god bless